And we've only got about nine minutes here, so we're just going to do what we can do uh, to talk to our guests. And um, they are folks from the uh, Austin neighborhood. I'm going to start with Rodney Williams, Sr., uh, Director of Entrepreneurship and Economic Development with something called By the Hand Kids Club. Uh, Rodney, uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for putting up with our technical difficulties. You want to explain a little bit about By the Hand's Kid Club? Okay, yeah. Um, well, I've been uh, part of By the Hand Club for Kids for the last five years. September, I will be entering into my sixth year. Um, it's a faith-based after-school program, um, and we kind of, you know, target, you know, the urban uh, low-income areas and um, just places, you know, that need us the most. And um, we, we, we kind of um, service those families, uh, we, we, you know, we look for kids who are not necessarily doing the best in school that need our help the most. Um, Keith and Azaria don't fit that category in, anymore. They are amazing scholars. Um, they are doing extremely well. Uh, but for the most part, uh, we have five locations. We're in Austin, Cabrini Green. We have two locations in Austin, um, Cabrini Green, um, Altgale Garden, and then um, in the uh, Inglewood, yes, I'm sorry. So yeah, um, most of our sites we go from first to twelfth grade, um, and, and um, we we you know our desire is to take kids by the hand and, and, and offer them you know abundant life all the way through college. Um, for the most part, we try to build long lasting relationships with families, um, and many of those families uh, or many of those relationships never end. We have even some of our kids who have graduated and now are on staff. So. Um, you know, we just really, you know, love what we do. We love our ability to, you know, again, partner with families and just be a blessing to the community. Uh, and it sounds like you are, especially right now in the Austin neighborhood. Um, yes. Uh, Azaria, uh, how did the, you you guys just put up a, a store where you can sell yeah. produce and you can sell flowers and other things. Tell us how that came together. Well, after the rioting and the looting of the George Floyd protests, like, it was a way for us to really look, reflect in our actions and figure out how can we heal and move forward. So um, the athletes, police officers, and students of By the Hand, we all came together in things we like to call peace circles, which basically we set, like, a tone of conversation to discuss a matter we'd like to talk about. And one thing we repeatedly kept popping up was, what do we do now? You know, how do we move on from this? How do we like make ourselves a reflection? So we looked after this, we took a bus tour, um, which I led and we got to see like just so many different parts of our communities and it all looked the same, you know, like this is where I grew up my entire life and there's no grocery stores here or things are broken down. and. I really wanted to address the people that there is still hope here. So one of the things we thought of was why not add a grocery store? You know, we have 17 liquor stores. Why not be the hope for this community? And when you say we, who who was the we? Just a, a bunch of kids in the organization. Uh, you also mentioned your partners. You've got Sam Acho mm -hmm. from the from the Bears yeah, who has Athletes for Justice. Uh, you said you mentioned the police mm -hmm. were involved in this uh, as well. And yes, then, that's what initially started. It was. Um, the, our group of kids, the police officers, and the bears. But during this process, we've um, gotten so many more supporters. Like everybody has been so helpful throughout this process, even our sponsors and the people that we work with, like our partnerships, Flowers yeah. and Dreams. They always come in, they're helpful. Like they exceed what they're supposed to do because we're all working for this mission of really helping people. Mm -hmm. So Keith Tankson uh, is also with us today. Um, and uh, I, I should mention that uh, that was uh, Azaria Baker, and uh, this is Keith Tankson, and, and you were involved in this as well. What's it like trying to run a store in uh, the Austin neighborhood? Trying to run a store in the Austin neighborhood. Um, once you get past like preparing the displays, it's really challenging, but once you start getting stuff going, it's very wholesome seeing the smiles on people's faces of what you're trying to do in the neighborhood and what you're trying to acquire and just give the necessities of what we didn't have for so long. Um, just, it's very wholesome just having that feeling and the satisfaction that we're given some that the neighborhood didn't have for such a long time. 
if this is successful, Keith, do you think there will be more stores like this? Many more stores that will be permanent. So uh, right now, um, it's a pop what, I un- what I understand, uh, you, this was the site of a liquor store, but you raised the building and then created something else. You're nodding, Rodney. Yes. So uh, <laughs> we, we and, you know, I've been a part of Body Hand, like I said, for five years, and I think we've been trying to get that liquor store more than 10 years. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, again, you know, we were able to, act, you know, finally get it and um, do something different with it. Um, the goal is to, um, eventually have a brick and mortar building, you know, uh, mm-hmm. a pop-up market, something permanent, um, in the community, um, that will, you know, again, change the, you know, what Austin is known for. We, you know, we always talk about how so many other communities have things that they're known for. Well, unfortunately, Austin, you know, it's only known for homicides. You know, that's, we've been number one in homicides for years. Um, nobody thinks about Austin and say, hey, let's go to that particular restaurant or let's go to that particular store or let's do this or let's do that. When they think Austin for, for so long, it's been about just the, the negative things. And so now to have something like this, you know, led by students and and it's honestly being led by the students, you know, they have had um, they, they played a, a major, major role in every decision that's been made up to this point. And so I think the community is just extremely excited, you know, just to see this student-led initiative uh, taking place, and and then what we decided to actually do with the space. Yeah, and 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 you should know it's at 423 North Laramie Avenue, um, and the uh, uh, the store runs hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three to six p.m. Two to um, six. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Two to six p.m. Two to six. I'm Two sorry. I must. Have, that's a typo here. Sorry. Two okay. to six p.m. Uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, does that get in the way of school, Azaria? Well, we actually. Some of us have started school, so the people who are choosing to do hybrid learning, they can come in and work later on in our hours. But for the rest of us who are going to be doing the online learning, like completely. We actually, some of us don't start till September 8th. And even through that, like, it's our business and we're entrepreneurs. So, like, we get to work around our own schedule. Oh, great. So, no, don't, like, exclude anybody doing for the school part of it. Like, we kind of introduce it to our schedules. Uh, one more question, then I'm going to have to let you guys go. Keith, do you, do you think this is going to set you up uh, for uh, – jobs in in the future and uh, when you move on from the store i definitely will especially with all the entrepreneurial skills that we have been learning um just like dealing with customer service troubleshooting skills that we have developed with our team um another thing that just builds us is the teamwork and the communication that we have it's gonna be a very good thing to have in our future when we do get real job is just is just going to follow into the future. Fantastic. Listen, uh, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties earlier, but I'm going to bring you guys back because we're going to do we're going to do this right. Um, This is kind of on the fly here. Um, But Rodney Williams, Sr., Azaria Baker, Keith Tankson, thank you so much for being on the show with us. And and we're going to talk again real soon. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. Have a great Sunday. See you. You too. It's the Mike Novak Show with Peggy Malecki. More to come, we hope.